Oh, oh. Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here, a very exciting video topic for you guys today. But before we get started, if you're interested in seeing who won the giveaway, stay tuned to the very end to find out who. So for those of you wondering how the food is delivered to the crew aboard the International Space Station, it's usually done by very costly robotic and manned missions. That being said, that is no longer the case as the ISS has successfully harvested their first crop of lettuce grown entirely aboard. While the reaction itself wasn't very overwhelming, which you can see here, it's a huge step forward in the direction towards self-sustainability in space. Let's check it out. Harvesting our own food has been the epicenter of much space talk recently. It's a large part of many sci-fi blockbuster films, and obviously it's a huge interest for NASA if its promise of traveling to Mars in the 2030s carries any influence. The harvest was a smaller part of NASA's VEG-01 experiment, which sought to test cultivation methods that could be used to survive long periods away from Earth. I think we were already hinting at that with the very conspicuous journey to Mars hashtag that the crew put in their celebratory tweet. Check it out. The program kicked off a little over a year ago when the SpaceX Dragon vessel sent up specially packed airtight seeds up to the ISS. Obviously the seeds had grown down here fully on Earth using the same system, but no one was sure of its viability and longevity up in space, but I think it's safe to say that that's settled. The first crops were sent back to Earth in early July for safety testing, and when analysis by NASA revealed no problem, it proved that the seeds could last for over a year in space and germinate correctly, meaning that extended travel with these things is definitely plausible. Understandably, space travel is all about efficiency. If you can minimize mass and other baggage, you can carry a lot more fuel and equipment. Just to Imagine the space we could save by carrying a bunch of seeds and growing our calories out there than bringing along crates full of plants and food. It's an ambitious part of the puzzle that could mean the world for NASA's planned mission to Mars in the early 2030s, and I think it's only going to get better from here, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for participating in the giveaway. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, as promised, I'm giving away a copy of where is it? Here it is. <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight PS4, as well as $100 to a charity of the winner's choice. And I'm going to put the winners right over here. So if you won, uh, congratulations. And I hope you'll come back because I'm obviously going to be doing plenty of giveaways. Look forward to one um, as early as next month. So uh, yeah, I hope the winners enjoy their gifts. And if you didn't win, uh, don't let that discourage you from trying again because I'm going to do plenty of these. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, look forward to more videos and more giveaways. See you guys next time. <laughs>